chemistry is a subject that takes a lot of practice to get good at, and it can be difficult. In this video, I want to show you perhaps what is considered the easiest book that you can get to learn chemistry. So this is not a textbook. It's kind of like a workbook. It's not really a hard cover or a soft cover. It's like something in between. It's called Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook. This is the Complete High School Study Guide. And it's a great book, it's gonna give it a whiff. There's other books in this series that are also for beginners. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this book and I will try to remember to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So it's quite an affordable book and way easier than a textbook. The Complete High School Study Guide, Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook by Workman Publishing, and the copyright is 2020. Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry, and here it tells you a little bit about chemistry. Let's read this together. This notebook is designed to support you as you work through chemistry. Consider this book to be a compilation of notes taken by the smartest person in your chemistry class the one who seems to get everything and takes clear, understandable, accurate notes. That's right, so basically this is just an excellent set of notes. I mean, these are just better than any notes I've seen. Um, it's just done really well. Even the contents are laid out quite nicely. So here's unit one, basics of chemistry. Talks about the very basic stuff. Unit two is all about matter. Let's take a look at the other sections here. Atomic theory and electron configuration, that's unit three. Unit four is elements and the periodic table. Unit five is bonding and Vesper theory. Then we have some other units here, chemical compounds, chemical reactions and calculations, gases, solutions and solubility, Quite a lot of stuff, acids and bases, chemical compounds, and thermodynamics. Now, I should mention that one of the criticisms of this book that I've heard from other people who uh, are chemistry pros is that this book um, does not contain enough information. And I would say um, I agree, but at the same time, the audience of this book is people who are new to chemistry, and I think it's perfect. Um, it's it's kind of hard to... Um, say a book is bad because it doesn't have enough info. This book is for beginners. So like if you want to get started with chemistry, this is a great place to start. Look how easy it is to read. Let's read some of it together so you can see how simple it is. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science that studies matter. Notice it's in caps and it's in yellow, so it's like highlighted. What it is and how it changes, and then matter. Anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything you see, touch, hear, smell, and taste involves chemistry and chemicals, which are all matter. Chemistry investigates the property of matter, how they interact, and how they change. Let's keep reading a little bit. This is pretty cool. Chemistry is like cooking. For example, when you're making a hamburger or doing any kind of cooking, you are mixing ingredients. The meat, matter, mashing, applying a force, and grilling, changing the temperature, until you get a hamburger, a new substance. And it tells you some places that you can see chemistry. Let's go to the end of the chapter so you can see how it works. So you can see here you have more great reading and highlighted sections. Everything's just really nicely compartmentalized. Notice it's not filled with text like a textbook. There's a lot less um, you know, knowledge, I guess, in this book, again, than in a regular textbook. Here's the really cool part. So when you get here to check your knowledge, it says, what is chemistry? By the way, you can write in this if you want to. Or if you don't want to write it, you can write on a piece of paper on the side. How do organic compounds differ from inorganic compounds? And it keeps asking you questions here. And then look at this, answers. So all you have to do is turn the page and boom, there it is. Check your answers. So here you have all the answers to those questions. Notice that was a pretty short chapter. So now we're in chapter two. So quite short. And by the way, I should just go back to the contents to show you something. So each unit is broken up into chapters, you see? So it's like subsections, but they call them chapters. So overall, I think this is an excellent book. I just gotta give it another whiff here because it's just drawing me to it. Ah, incredible. Uh, you notice my copy is a little bit creased because it does crease, you know? Um, I have used it, I've read small portions of it. 
And then here's some of the other books from the series. Um, they're all excellent. I have almost all of them. So I think I'm only missing like one or two. But you can see that the book uh, continues the same format throughout, right? Like you can go through the book and it's going to be the same stuff. You know, it's just going to have the, the knowledge and then a little thing at the end where you have questions and then you can check your answers. Here is the legendary periodic table. Uh, this is kind of like an obligatory thing to have in every single chemistry book. By the way, even if you're not studying chemistry, you do learn chemistry in other classes. For example, I first saw chemistry in a biology class. So you see chemistry in biology. Um, you see some chemistry in physics. Uh, so I, even, even in pre-calc, uh, I've taught pre-calculus courses where I have simple chemistry questions that I put uh, involving logarithms. So yeah, it's something that comes up in all areas and it's one of those core core subjects and I think that this is a great way to get started. So if you decide to get this book, uh, my advice would be to try to do like maybe just one, one little chapter a day or you know part of a chapter a day, but if you can do a chapter a day, so for example, you go to unit one, start on page two and you get through all of this, you, know, you read all of this and then here you go. So it's really not that much reading. It's not gonna take you like forever to get through this book. Let's just check the second one. So it starts on page 16. So you've got some knowledge here, some more knowledge here. So not too much reading, right? I mean, let's keep going. And then here's your check your answers. So not too bad, right? Not as heavy as a regular textbook. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I think it's really, really hard to find uh, chemistry books that are really good for beginners like this one. So yeah, I recommend it. I think it's a good chemistry book. I have some chemistry books, probably like at least 10, but I don't have like hundreds like I do math books. Um, but my other chemistry books are mostly textbooks. I think I have the Shams, which is not really a textbook, uh, but that's a lot heavier than this. This is definitely the easiest one I have. So yeah, I will try to leave a link in the description. By the way, if you found any value in this content, feel free to subscribe um, you know, if you want to. If not, that, that's okay too. Uh, the key takeaway from this video should be that uh, this is a great book that you can use to learn chemistry. Also, before I forget, if you want to learn math, uh, I do have math courses. They're on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use the links to my website. My website is mathsourcer.com. Rather, the links are on my website. And when you click those links, uh, what, what will happen is you'll get a low price because I've lowered all the prices on all my courses to the bare minimum. So I've set them to be as low as possible. So when you use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, you should always get a low price. Plus it helps me when you use uh, my links. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. And hopefully this video has helped you and now you know how to get started with chemistry. It's a cool subject, right? Anyone can learn it. It doesn't matter. I mean, it says it's for high school, but you can be younger, right? You can be older. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Um, this is a book for everyone. And these people at Workman Publishing, um, I, I'm not associated with them in any way, um, but they did an excellent job with this book and their other books. So I highly recommend this book. I hope it's been helpful to you. Keep doing math.